Hey Scorpio, welcome back to the channel guys. My name is Nelly, aka Owl Tarot, and I'm here to bring you guys your weekend love reading. We're going to see what is going on with you guys this weekend. Is this new love or old love? You know, as we get ready to approach um, or receive February the 14th, which is Valentine's Day, we want to tap into this romantic energy and see what really will be going on with you guys this weekend. So before we get started, guys, please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Click that notification bell. This allows me to connect with you energetically, and it definitely helps me out with the growth of the channel. As you all know, these readings are timeless general love readings, so they may or may not resonate with you. Please take what does, leave the rest behind. If the reading resonated and you would like additional messages and clarity regarding your situation, you can always book a personal reading with me. The info is in the description box below. Alrighty, guys. Thank you so much for being part of the channel. And thank you so much for being part of my growth here. So we're going to go ahead and get started here with your reading. So as you guys noticed, the first or Oracle card that came out is love and potential. So there is obviously the potential of a situation becoming more and more stable more and more grounded because that was like a plant sitting inside a um a pot up in the smoke up in smoke oh no up in smoke so let's see here universe archangel spirit angel guides and guardians what is the overall energy for scorpio this weekend in love what is the overall energy for scorpio this weekend in love so let's see here feminine and possessiveness. Wow. Mine. Available. But it did come out in the reverse. And I, I generally don't take these cards in the reverse. But I do have to take this one in the reverse. Spirit told me to take it. So guys, there's a situation here that you... Somebody has a stalker. I do have to be really honest with you. Someone has a stalker here. So for, for whoever this reading will resonate with, and this is not for everyone, but someone here is a stalker. For some of you guys, this may be a female that is stalking you. You're not available to this connection, but I feel like this person is holding on to you tight. Like they want to be with you. They want you to go out with them, have a couple drinks. They want you to align with them and um, heal with them and be with them. It's like with you, they can breathe. With you, they have everything, but you're not available to this situation though, okay? You're not available to what this person over here wants. They want long term and you are just not looking at that. I feel that this situation has to do... This could very well be a third party here. Mm -hmm. That's backfiring on you, Spirit just said. Because this was lust. Lust and bond. Okay? But it went from being a third party situation... To they want to all of a sudden get have long term and be married here with you. And you're like, hell no, this is not what I want. You were not meant, you were not for that purpose. Like I have another situation or I had another relationship. So honestly, I feel that this is your third party making their self be known. So for those of you guys, and guys, I have to be very honest with you. I just give the energy that spirit is telling me and the messages spirit is telling me. But if you have been screwing around behind your person's back, they will find out this weekend. I do have to be honest with you. Some of you guys are already married, have a family with someone else. And this was only supposed to be what it is, sex and that's that. But this sexual connection, this person ended up catching feelings for you where you have no feelings for them whatsoever this person is madly in love with you they want a family with you they want to be married to you they want you to be available and aligned for this connection but you are like nah this this is what it was it was just sex and that's that and they can't get it through their head so scorpio i have to be honest with you guys so if you've stepped out of your relationship to deal with a third party, this third party will make it be known. And you know why? It's because this third party wants to end your connection, partnership in the reverse. They want your marriage to come to an end. I just heard if I can't have you, no one can have you. 
So guys, be careful with whoever it is that you've been dealing with here. I'm sorry if I put someone, if I threw somebody under the bus, my apologies. But hey, Spirit gives me the messages and all I do is I, I forward them over to you all. You guys make them fit in your story as they fit. Universe, Archangel, Spirit, Angel, Guides, and Guardians. What is the overall energy here with Scorpio? Transformative love. And then I have phantom lover fantasy so guys this i feel that this connection here that was actually just a sexual connection now okay for some of you guys spirit just say just said this may have not even been a third party you may have already been single but this person over here that you were fucking around with that was your friends with benefits now they want something more stable where you already may be in another situation you just met someone new so if you were dealing with somebody here who who was what they what it was it was sex and that's that be careful with this person because they want something to transform in this connection they no longer want to be that phantom lover that you keep in the background that nobody acknowledges no this person wants to be seen and wants to be known so be careful if you're already pursuing somebody new over here and you're wanting to give this key to your heart to someone new this past person violets violets are blue they're sad they're depressed they want to be with you they want your loyalty. They want you to give them what you're trying to give over here to a new connection. So be careful, guys. Your friends with benefits or your third party wants something way more serious than what you've been offering them. They're going to find out that you may be pursuing another connection here that you are giving more attention to someone else. And they are going to want to destroy that relationship for you. So be careful whoever you're dealing with. Okay? Um... I feel that this person is spying on you. It's just the images on this picture. It's like this person is spying on you and they're spying hard. They want your heart. They want your heart to be locked down on them and only them. But bro, I'm, I'm telling you, I'm going to be honest here with you. Whatever it is that you did to this person or whatever mind-blowing sex you guys had going on, that shit got them hooked because they're, they're willing to destroy anything and everything you got just to keep you to themselves. So be careful with that one, guys. Universe, Archangels, Spirit, Angel Guides, and Guardians, please help me give my Scorpios clear and concise messages here regarding the situation. What is the overall energy for my Scorpios this weekend, please? What is the overall energy for my Scorpios this weekend? Eight of Wands. So, guys, Spirit just said if this if if you are in a new situation, right, you might want to sit down with your new person and let them know, hey. I was dealing with somebody from the past who is trying to sabotage our connection. Um, I just want to let you know that this person is kind of kooky and they will, if anything, if they, if they say anything to you, I've already come to you and I've informed you that I was dealing with a crazy ass. Okay. Um, for those of you guys that are in a connection. Okay, may even be married. You better sit down and tell your person that you made the wrong leap of faith and you screwed around with the wrong person because this this third party is planning to come in here and cause you all these burdens, start up all these nightmares, and potentially, I told you guys, wanting to leave you and this connection out in the cold. So this person is ready to destroy your marriage, okay? ready to destroy this connection so whoever it is that you have been dealing with whoever that whoever it is that you made available as an option in your life this person is in the queen of swords energy in the reverse and they are ready to destroy it all for you so you better open up this weekend let let whoever it is that you are dealing with let them know that you got you a crazy ass ex here because somebody is willing to do whatever it takes to keep you in their life. And I feel that this person will come towards your new connection or your current connection and destroy that relationship to shreds. So watch out, guys. This is a fair warning. Watch it with that third party or watch it with that friends of benefits because they are set in their ways that you belong to them. Universe, Archangel, Spirit, Angel, Guides, and Guardians, what is the outcome in this situation? Knight of Cups in the reverse. So again, guys, you are being told 
Don't be afraid. Don't hold back. Let your person know. Because if you hold back from letting them know that you're dealing with somebody here who is kind of kooky loopy and wanting to be with you forcefully, you're going to potentially cause all this damage to your connection. For some of you guys, you already did it, but you'd rather come to your person and tell them now so they don't get miscommunication or misinformation here. Because this person may even come at them with, oh, I'm already expecting. I'm already expecting. I'm going to be their next baby mama. Or I'm going to be their next baby daddy. Whatever the situation is. But you are dealing with somebody here who is very vengeful. And they will do whatever it takes to keep you. So, guys, don't hold back from speaking the truth to your partner or to your potential new partner. Because this person is keeping an eye on your ass. And they know what you are up to. And this person is capable of contacting your person and starting up ruckus in your home or just in your relationship period. What are the final messages here for my Scorpio universe? Engagement in the reverse. So for those of you who are planning to get engaged this weekend, okay, this person will make sure that that does not come true. Okay, why? Because they didn't get that engagement ring. This is somebody who is salty, who is jealous, who wants your, your attention, who does not want you to be with anyone else. I feel that playfulness in the reverse, they mean business, boo-boo. They mean business. They better not catch you flirting with somebody because this person will be getting out of pocket. They feel like they deserve love, okay? But some of you guys have already blocked this person and they're forcing to have a conversation here with you. But you're not having it. I My suggestion to you, I don't, I don't mean call this 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 person over there and try to talk to them. Not Don't do that. Talk to whoever it is that you're currently dealing with because this person has a plan to destroy whatever you got going on over here, Okay? Why? Because they're still trying to get to know you. They're still trying to be with you. Free yourself. You're going to find it very, very hard to free yourself from this person. So, guys, you need to speak the truth and let them know what's up. All right, guys, I hope and pray that this reading gave you the clarity that you needed. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And if you would like to book a personal reading, the info is in the description box below. I'll talk to you soon. Take care. Bye.